For us, games don't get much bigger than this. Saracens against Holocrons at Wembley Stadium. Eighty thousand people watching your every move. The pressure will be massive. But that's what we live for at Saracens. We're in the LV semi-final week, building up for our big game against Saints. Um, two weeks out from our, our game at Wembley against Quinns. Important day today, just to get things right, mentally get into a good state for the game at the weekend. The LV Cup team, for us, has been taken from majority of our second team. We found it always a good breeding ground to bring these younger players through, to give them some experience on a bigger stage. Gents, this is a massive week for us, and this group has earned themselves a massive amount of credit and respect. There's a motivation of wanting to write a few things from last time and the front row wanting to settle a few scores, which is fine and we've got the emotion, we've got all the emotion we need. Setups, crouch, bind, break on the whistle. Okay, we know what the drill is. Crouch! Bind! Set, two, three, four, keep it on! He's a passionate guy, he's incredibly good at being able to relate to people. He makes an effort to understand people and to get the best out of them. Look, everything out of your mind, concentrate on our drill. Right, and thereafter, you can switch off on the set because we're just busting our gut to win that inch. He is just unbelievable. The amount of energy that he brings to a session, and I mean, I can't speak highly enough of him as a coach. I think it's preparing yourself for battle, training as hard as you can during the week, and, and making sure you can push yourself as hard as other teams won't push themselves. We make a big emphasis on, on work rate. It's one of our key disciplines and principles. We'll excuse people if they drop a ball, if someone doesn't get off the floor quick enough, and that's not excusable for us. If you have a sleepless night before now and then, good. Because we need it at the weekend, we have to have it at the weekend. The game will hinge on it, it did last time. So have a look at lunchtime at what we could have done better, and we'll come again on Thursday, hopefully with a little bit of a better attitude in terms of what we did at the scrum. Because it, it wasn't good enough. Even myself, I found that if you had a bad game and you missed a tackle or you dropped a pass, as a player, you still dwell on it because the game is your life. So what if the game's not the life? What if they have something other than just the sport week to week? I've got a lot of uh, work going on at the moment outside rugby. Well, I'm studying at uh, the School of Oriental and African Studies. I had a lecture this morning and uh, I have three or four essays that are due in next week. I've done a lot of work experience, so I've done my builders, bricklaying, carpentry course, which was actually quite fascinating. For me, it's just finding out what I probably want to get into when I finish rugby, and it comes very quickly, and you need to be ready for that next stage, I think, before it comes. Doing a degree, it gives you just that wider, broader perspective on things, but I have a cut-off point where I'm trying to clear my head and like turn my attention to the game and start to prepare for that. I think most players hate the morning before a game because you've got so many emotions flying around. All the pent up uh, frustration, aggression, it's just bottled up. One minute props, one minute. Steady. Release, squeeze. Stay next to Yeah, break. Great height, boys, that's outstanding warm up. Outstanding warm up. We lose our attack, we lose our defense. Stay in the fucking game, all of us. No matter what, we fucking back your man. It's two minutes. You've got to give these players the opportunity to prove themselves. It was a natural selection to say, Maro, you take us on again for this LV side. He's got the players behind him. He leads by example and he says the right things at the right time. This team is so special, so special to play with us. For one reason, this team never dies. We never die. We're prepared to fight and fight and fight. Let's do a job.
There's not many times where we come in at half time behind where we don't feel we're in control really. We know that if we go out and execute the game plan that we'll end up coming away with a win. Hey listen boys, the same fucking energy now boys, yeah? Same fucking intent as that half, yeah? We go out and we start fucking scoring the points. Yeah? So we've got an opportunity down there, okay? This could be the difference between winning and losing. So let's make sure we go in. Everyone's got a fucking head switch on because we can milk these penalties. They're getting fucking tired. It's our half now. Let's fuck them up. We've got this game. On your feet, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. This next 40 minutes, the fucking tables change a bit. This is where our plan and our buy-in to how good that plan was is now where we come alive, lads. Look after each other, play for each other, and we are going to have a good 40 minutes, fellas. Okay? Go, boys. Go, boys. Fantastic feeling because one, you know you've given everything, and then in turn, you know the guy left and right of you has given everything. By the end of your career, you might be able to pick out five to ten games that you'll talk about with your friends, you know, or with your teammates. And for me, that, that semi final will definitely be one. I cannot thank you enough for sticking for the plan and bringing that energy today. You're absolutely superb. One more to go. I think when you speak to a lot of lads who retired, that's the bit they miss the most. And they miss the kind of the unity and achieving things with your best mates. One minute I do think, oh, it's all part of it. This is rugby and it happens. And then next minute, you know, you're dying to play. The LV Cup final against us this weekend, I think it's going to be a massive experience. Go, 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 go! Spinners, spinners, to me, spinners! <laughs> <laughs>